Hi, welcome to MBA Watch Profile of the Week, sponsored by MBA Mission. I'm John Byrne with Poets and Quants. Our candidate today wants to get to Columbia Business School. He calls himself Mr. Family Media Business. He's been working in the family media business for a little over three years. It's a media conglomerate involving print, radio, and television with subsidiary companies in education and real estate. He has a Penn degree, so an Ivy League degree in social science with a 3.36 GPA. He took the GRE, it's uh, 329. He's 24, so he's on the young side. And as I mentioned before, um, Columbia is his target school. In fact, he only mentions Columbia. And we have to assess the candidate, Rachel Beck of MBA Mission. Welcome, Rachel. Thanks for having me. So you've been in the media. You worked for many years at the Associated Press. I've been in the media. I worked for many years at Business Week and a few other publications. What do you make of this media guy? I think this guy is an interesting applicant for Columbia, especially for the January term. I think he would really, really raise his chances of getting in if he applied to the J term. And one good thing about the January term is that the admit rate is a lot higher, a lot higher than the regular uh, admissions uh, uh, cohort for the fall. Yes. The first thing that I l always look at is, is the applicant's academics. Um, and so he has somewhat of a low GPA um, at Penn undergrad, which Penn is a very, very competitive school. Um, he was a social science um, major. Um, so that worries me a little bit, but he did reach Dean's List his last two years. So I think that um, upward trajectory definitely helps him. Um, the 329 on the GRE is fine. Um, I always like to mention with Columbia applicants these days that if your score doesn't look great, you have the option to take the executive assessment. Columbia is very, very, very interested in applicants taking this because they do not have to um, include the EA scores in the ranking calculation. So if your score isn't great for Columbia, the EA is a great plan B. Right. Career-wise, coming from the family business background um, in media is something attractive to Columbia. This applicant then wants to go on and work at a U.S. media company for a few years to kind of see how a U.S. media company would work. And Columbia has great, great recruiting um, into media companies. And then this applicant would like to go back to the family business, which is something that, that Columbia tends to really like to see. They want their alumni across the world. They want them in powerful positions. So saying, I want to go back one day to my family business does help. I think this applicant's age might be a little bit of a hindrance because he's young. He's 24. Um, and in the uh, J term, where there's a lot of people from family businesses, the age average age is probably closer to 28, even 29. So he would be much, much younger than most of the cl his classmates, and that's something just to consider. Right. Uh, should he still go ahead and apply? And if he doesn't get in, he can always reapply? Yes. What I always advise people who have good credentials but are young is you can apply. You just then have to demonstrate areas of growth when you reapply. So something has to change in your profile. Your scores have to go up. You have to have some advancements in your career. Um, you have to interface more with the Columbia community. So you do need to demonstrate something. Um, but this is a perfect situation where maybe the applicant is successful or he he applies and, and he then has to wait another year just to get more experience. Now, he's also only applying to one school. Uh, and I know uh, from previously speaking with you, that is generally a no-no. Explain why. Well, I just think by putting all your eggs in one basket, you're really limiting yourself to a great opportunity. And there are a lot of schools that feed very nicely into the media world. NYU is one of them. UCLA is another one of them. Um, so these are really good options and you could still live in a, you know, NYU would live in New York, UCLA, you'd live in LA. These are great places 
to grow and learn. So that that's something just to consider. Um, when people only apply to one school, if they don't get in, then what's their plan B? And their the plan B is a scramble. That's essentially what it is. So I always tell my clients, you need to work on your applications for other schools um, while you're waiting for Columbia. And uh, you think this person's gonna be right at home at Columbia? I think this applicant has a lot of positives. Um, in his profile, I think his age is probably something that will hold him back a little bit. But if he could spin the, that why now, I always tell young applicants, you really need to demonstrate the case of why now very strongly in your application so they understand why you want to show up now versus a year from now or two years from now. What's a conceivable answer that would be convincing to admissions? Um, if he can really demonstrate how he's grown at the company over the last few years and has taken on bigger roles and is really going to be the heir apparent and kind of needs to get this MBA education, um, he was you know in social sciences at Penn, so doesn't have that foundational business knowledge and really needs it, and then wants to go learn at a U.S. Uh, media company before going back home. I can see that storyline working for this applicant. Yeah, really good advice. Rachel, thank you. Thank you. All right, there you have it, Mr. Family Media Business. Um, we think you got a good shot. And you know, if you don't make it this time, you can always reapply. And remember what Rachel said, you can go to NYU Stern, UCLA Anderson, uh, and, and do the media track, uh, get on a really good uh, trajectory from those two schools as well. Uh, the January term at uh, Columbia, uh, the admit rate is significantly higher. You can look it up on Poets and Quants. It's pretty higher uh, than the t typical admit rate to Columbia. Uh, so there is a good shot for you, even though you are on the young side. This is John Byrne with Poets and Quants. You've been watching our MBA Watch Profile of the Week, sponsored by MBA Mission. Mm -hmm.